Pressure's off a little bit on the weekend. Uh, they obviously expected to win top of the table and uh, looking to progress through the rounds and underdogs again, which is a, a good thing for us. I mean, to go out there and play football and actually enjoy a game. Um, pressure free. So I'm sure we'll have a, a good go at it and look forward to knocking them out. So there is a marked change in mentality, bearing in mind it's not a, a struggling league game. Um, yeah, in, in a way there is, but obviously we, we want to win the game, of course. But uh, I think there's a bit more freedom in the cup games to, to express yourself a little bit more and... and uh, I think we've enjoyed that as we've all seen the results we had in the Cup so far. So I think everyone's looking forward to the weekend. You've been at the Cup for a while now and it's, yep. it's the furthest you've ever progressed in the FA Cup. Yeah, it has and I'm not sure if it's uh, up there with the furthest Reddings ever got before. But uh, we've, we've, we've done fantastically well this season with that. I mean, we needed a, uh, a kick start at the start of this year um, because obviously last year was a disgrace. and. And uh, we, uh, we, we've done that really. We've uh, had a great start to the year with a great few wins, and and uh, the boys are looking forward to the weekend. In the press <coughs> we're having a good old debate as to when the last time was Reading progressed this far. Yeah, uh, who, who's thinking. the best person within the camp to talk to? Are there any real nerdy historians within the Reading Football Club? I, mean, maybe. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe Tyler Gaffey knows a lot. Um, the players? Sure, none of the players, no, no. none of the players that know anything. Uh, <laughs> it always yeah. amazes me that so players don't really have much of a grasp on the history of the club or anything they're too busy getting on with it uh, exactly it's, it's, it's a job at the end of the day and I suppose everyone has interest in, in stuff <laughs> it's not the history of football <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that yeah. fair enough and uh, the championship wins so it must have buoyed the, the, full, the whole camp with uh, confidence yeah it has I mean we've been playing really well this recently and as I said the start of this year was uh, going to be a new era for us and we we got back to the ways where it's hard to beat us now, especially at home. We wanted to, because people were coming to our place and, and, and scoring for fun and, and making a mockery of us. So we wanted to, to, to start this season off and going back to being hard to beat and, and being solid at home. And, and that's what we've done. And, and we've got our rewards from that. You're in with a decent chance now of avoiding relegation. Yeah. You've got nine points from the last possible nine. It does show what a mile you were in three games ago. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, uh, we, obviously, as I said, we... We were struggling and, and uh, we pulled some good run, a good run together and, and we need to keep it going and obviously the, the, the big game's Wednesday really and, and if we win that I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll jump a few places out of the, out of the thing. I had a, had a look at the table um, the other day and, and there's quite a few teams above us that's one or two points away from us so it'll be quite tight. You are into your stats aren't you? <laughs> no, well it's the first time I look at the table in a long time to be honest but um, I, it does give you kind of a glimmer of hope and then the boys are all very confident and as long as we keep the run going and being uh, hard to beat every week, we, we should be right. One thing you might not want is a return trip, a, a replay from the FA Cup because that would uh, send your fixtures into disarray, wouldn't it? Oh, I mean, I don't mind more games Mary. Mary. Um, uh, I love playing and uh, I'm sure the other boys see it the same way and West Brom's a great team and, and uh, obviously we're going to win the game on Saturday but if we need a replay, we'll, we'll knock them out, out there. Best of luck, thanks. Cheers, no worries. You and um, <coughs> Mr. Cox must have played in a few reserve teams together when you were uh, Yeah, no, quite well. Obviously, we, we went through this last time we played him. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a good chap and he's um, obviously a, a good player as well. And he's, he's doing well up there for them, scoring goals and setting up goals. And um, if he plays against us, he'll be a handful. Did you won the got away sort of thing for Reading all year or did he have to leave, do you think, to... Uh, oh, right. There's, there's, been, <laughs> there's been quite a few, you can yeah. say that about most people that just left here. But... Uh, um, as you said, he probably had to leave here to uh, uh, further his career, and he's he done well at Swindon, and, and obviously got his move, and he's doing well up there now. He's, it took him a while to get into the into the team, and as you're saying, he's scoring up there and setting up goals and, and doing well. I mean, you obviously saw a lot of him. You, you <coughs> he's a good player. Obviously, he's, thought he had it to you know to actually. Yeah, I mean, it was, it, obviously there's a lot of players that come in and out, and, yeah, yeah. and there's a lot of players that you probably haven't seen behind the scenes as well, and. and um, I mean, like how how's uh, been in the other team all, all, all year, and he comes in and wins us a penalty, and and, and uh, we take the three points from there. It's fantastic from him, and I mean, there's lots of players that like that behind the scenes that no one really knows about. But um, it was the same with him. Uh, he's, he's he's a great player, and he as, a, as you said, sorry, uh, he had to go out on loan and, and uh, earn his stripes there, and, and and he's back in the championship doing well. So there'll be a lot of fans back in Australia, I suppose, <coughs> supporting Reading this weekend then as well, I would imagine. Oh, I hope so, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, well, I don't know, I don't really get to go home much these days, so I'm not really really sure. I'd, uh, I'd like to think so. With the, with the World Cup coming up, it would be nice if there was a few fans out there back home, but yeah. Is it big the FA Cup in Australia? I mean, are they, they um, sort of, uh, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I, I think Premier League is. And they're Premier League, isn't they? Yeah, the Premier League, but do they grasp the... Yeah, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure it is. It's... Uh, It'll be the most known known cup in Australia anyway, and it'll be the most followed. And I remember when I was uh, when I was young and, and like um, playing uh, Sunday League or whatever when, when you were when you were a kid and that, and 
and the coach always say who's playing in the final and that. And, but it's it's obviously the biggest cup that that in football around the world. I'd have to say FA Cup. Have you guys talked about uh, a possible trip to Wembley? Because I know a lot of well, fans and yeah, I mean, might be it's, about it. it's been yeah, it's been whispered around the place really. But uh, we just got to take uh, one game at a time. And I think at the moment. Most of our concerns are on the league, uh, to be honest. But um, yeah, it would be would be fantastic. Obviously, if we get through the next round, there's only a couple of games to Wembley, and, and that's a tre- tremendous kind of achievement for the year to make a make a worthwhile season of it, sort of. So it, it'd be a, a fantastic honour to do that, like, come close to doing that. Mm. Yeah. Did you did you get to go to Wembley when you won? <coughs> Pan yeah, Pan yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, we took. Uh, like? Yeah, obviously, it's amazing. It's, it's a fantastic place and. Um, you kind of sit there just wishing, well, you, you want to be playing, and, and it's uh, hard to watch games like that sometimes because you sit in the stands and you, just, you want to be involved in it. But um, yeah, it, I mean, uh, it would be fantastic to get through this weekend and, and, and be so close to it, you can almost touch it. Didn't get a tour behind the scenes, dressing rooms, and all that, did you? No, nah, of course not. No, no, tickets are just for a seat, line, mate. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, it was a great experience, and uh, obviously took uh, Sal along, and, and we had a good old time, and it was, it was a fantastic way to top off that, that year. Yeah. It was good.